Hey there, it's Adam Schetzler with Sound Balance Physical Therapy, and I'm doing another typing video. I've been typing now for 10 hours on Dvorak and it, over the course of about five months, um, almost six, I guess. Um, it started in January of this year, and I've been doing five minutes a day almost every single day except Sundays. And I want to show you my progress after 10 hours of typing five minutes per day. Um, so let's, I'm going to make me smaller here, and I'm going to show you my data. Um, so here we go on this side over there. Um, it's been a really stellar week. You can see this is my lesson uh, I've been working on lesson three, trying to get up to over 20 words per minute. Now, these are actual words, not uh, five character words, but I made a big jump and maintained that jump this week. So I'm really excited and hopeful for improvements this week. Um, What's well, been strange, um, my QWERTY speed has dropped. I guess that's not surprising. A lot of that has been, I've been typing less due to COVID. Um, I've been seeing fewer patients and have fewer charts. Um, my Dvorak speed in blue has been improving. My QWERTY speed sort of dropped and then is, is on the way back up. Um, I've been disappointed the last couple weeks. Uh, I've had a few just really difficult letters that I haven't learned yet. Um, and, and I think that's sort of plateaued me. I, I think I'm excited to see me improve today. Um, this is my typing speed by hours of practice. Um, so here we are at 10 hours, and then hopefully we're up way over 20 today. Um, you can see it's been a pretty steady improvement, um, a little bit jagged, but there is a definite trend line there. It's a little bit shallower than I'd like. Um, I was hoping I'd be at 20 or 30, uh, maybe even 40 by now, um, and I've only gotten over 20 once. Uh, but we're coming along. I think once we move on to the fourth lesson and add in the rest of the letters, um, that's going to come along quickly as well. This is typing speed by date. So you can see here I started actually January 3rd. Um, and again, it's the same trend line here, but it's uh, this is by date, whereas this is by hours of practice. So if I miss a couple days, it's not going to track that exactly. Um, but it's coming along. So hopefully today we see a, a dot way up here, um, 20 to 25 somewhere. Um, and way up here, 20 to 25 somewhere on this line there, on the, right on the 10 hours of practice. And then my QWERTY speed hopefully hasn't dropped so much. Uh, I have really noticed that when I'm transcribing, um, my speeds are uh, slower in QWERTY. Like the only time I transcribe stuff is when I practice Dvorak for five minutes a day. I don't transcribe any other time. I always type stuff from my brain directly to the page. Um, so that's been interesting as well, how specific the training is. It messes with my head only when I'm transcribing because that's when I'm only practicing. Um, it'll be interesting later. I'm going to try doing Dvorak, just typing something. And I think I'll really struggle with it because I haven't been practicing that way. Um, okay, so here you can see lesson three this week. Um, I made a big jump from 14s and 15s up to 17s and 18s, and I'm only 10 words away from passing this lesson now uh, in five minutes. And I, I'm sure I won't do it today because I'm only going to do four minutes on my practice because I'm going to do one minute on my test over here. Um, so without further ado, we're going to do a one minute QWERTY speed test, a one minute Dvorak speed test, and then I'm going to do four minutes of practice and see where the chips lie and then continue my progress over the next weeks as long as it takes. Um, so we're going to bounce over here and see if my QWERTY has dropped or if it's on the rise again. I have been seeing a few patients now and I've been typing a little bit more. So Hopefully that uh, comes along as well as I find myself switching faster between the two languages. So um, here we go. Borak. <laughs> uh, Got to quit thinking so hard. Okay.
I'm making far <laughs> that was that was horrible. Um, I've never made mistakes with those letters on Dwar on Dwarak and Cordy before. I, I the P I think I'd made it, but um, the P I think I had an N and an O. Whew, that was rough. My because I'm getting finally actually um, kind of automatic on Dvorak. I think it's really taking over. That was really horrible. Um, it's kind of excitingly horrible. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, plus, it's really late. So uh, that's 33 words per minute. That might be a new low. Um, that was, I'm, I don't know. I'm a giddy in a weird way um, that my brain automatically went for the P on my left hand instead of my right. And the N, I was trying to type on the home row instead of down here. And that was trippy. Uh, well, I wish I had a camera on my hands. Um, anyway, yeah, that's pretty horrible. That'll be a new low over here. <laughs> I think oh, maybe I had one lower. Um, still bad. Bad, bad, bad. You can see it's like, and all of a sudden I'm making Dvorak mistakes. And I don't do that when I just type from my head. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Windows Space because I've already changed this over here. That automatically changes me to the other language. Uh, to the Dorak, and we're going to see um, how this goes. I'm going to refresh this. The other thing that's interesting, oh, yeah, that's on three. I'm um, supposed to refresh this one. Um, the other thing that's interesting is um, how bad I do on the testing days because I start with uh, QWERTY typing, and my brain's like, oh, QWERTY, okay. Um, and then when we get back to Dvorak, it's a mess. Um, so what I'm going to do, oh, I didn't pull this up here. Uh, shrink you. And I'm going to pull that up. There we go. Um, hopefully that wasn't any sort of um, email I shouldn't be sharing with you. Uh, let's see. So... Let's roll with this. And this also has no punctuation, which is interesting. Um, here we go. In the past, W has really been my undoing. And one time I had an apostrophe, and I still don't know where apostrophe is. So uh, hopefully they don't give me that garbage. So <laughs> uh, I don't know where the G is. So I'm just searching for that. Or the Y is a, a letter I haven't done. Um, I remember the W killing me the last couple of weeks. So I remember where the W is, sort of. I haven't practiced that one at all. G is still rough. Um, 20, so that's perfect. Uh, we're coming along. Um, that's, that's, I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, W is my undoing still. G is bad. Y, I don't know. Um, and some of these other ones. B is pretty common. I don't know. X, Q, J. Z and I don't really care, but G, W, Y, and B are the are the big ones that I'm going to add in on lesson four, as well as uh, Q, J, and Z, which I really don't care. Um, then punctuation will be interesting. Um, period up there on that right finger butt. Um, cool. So let's put that in uh, 100 CPMs, uh, and that is perfectly. 20 words per minute. Um, so if we put in 
100 and you divide that by 5, we got 20 right there. And let's take a look. Uh, so my QWERTY continues to drop. <laughs> hey, look at that. If my QWERTY gets bad enough, I'll be better at Dvorak than QWERTY. Um, as you can see, I started almost at 60, and here I am down at 30. Um, but I, it's, it hasn't bothered me at all in my, my regular typing. I haven't noticed. Um, so this has been a good improvement. We're going to check that out. Um, we're up to 20. I did have one good day there. I must have just given me all letters that I knew for some reason. Um, and I did have that one word just there. Uh, this is good. I'm happy to be a 20, and I hope to never be below 20 again. Um, so we're going to pull that there. We're going to put this on for four minutes, and we're going to do this uh, lesson with these letters and the home row. So... Um, Let's see where I'm at, and hopefully I'm, I'm up here in the 17s, 18s again today. You can see that's been a big jump this week. So uh, let's keep that going on. Five, four, three, two, one. Here. And you can see uh, that, ah, oh, that's going to be really horrible. Um, all right. Okay. So you can see that I'm faster. I have some letters that are automatic. Oh, that's going to be bad. Catching up to do. The, the other thing that you can see is that these words have more than five letters. and. Technically, your typing speed is how many groups of five letters you can type. But these tests, or I mean these practices, are actually how many words can you type? O U S. Just in my main sort of complaint. I'm going to try to rock this because we mess up on the first word. That's um, catching up to do. I really have been trying to make no mistakes. And I think that is what really gave me the speed increase well as it's finally kind of feeling automatic. I'm trying to let them spur me to new heights. Counter pain. See, sometimes it actually looks like I know how to type.
finish whatever word I'm on. Um, cause I, it's not an exact science. I'm counting down those five seconds, uh, 57. Ah, it was such a bad start, but you can see it's, it's, it is faster. Um, fewer errors, faster combinations, faster letters, fewer gaps. Um, it's almost automatic sometimes it, it's really coming. So, uh, 57 still going to be better than last week. Oh, maybe not. Nope. It's not quite, ah, that's horrible. Um, some long words to start with. I can't believe I messed up that first word too. Is a long one. Um, so V equals 57. Um, that's actually worse. <laughs> Is that really? In, oh no, doing four weeks in four divided by four minutes. Um, still, yeah, it was worse than last week. Um, Fifty-seven out of one hundred and four minutes. Um. Up on the first word and had to retype the whole. Yeah, so I'm not gonna. Now I'm typing in QWERTY and I'm not making any. I'm making mistakes, but I'm not making Dorak mistakes. Um, let's see. I'm happy. Happy with the outcome of the test, but not so. Happy with my lesson. Okay. Um, yeah, that's way faster than I was typing query just a minute ago, and I'm not making any errors. Uh, it's just it's funny. It's funny how the brain works. And you think um, that it's the same thing, and your brain has a, a totally different pattern for transcribing versus just typing. They're similar and they're related. And obviously, if you can do one fast, you can do the other fast as well, but um, they are different skills. Um, I, I had no idea that it would be that different. Pleased with this 20, uh, not pleased with this 14. I think in the next week or two, I think I say this every week, I'm going to pass this lesson three. I'm going to move on to lesson four, but happy to be at this 20 mark. Um, again, it's just a slow, steady, and again, 10, um, 10 hours now, slow and steady wins the race here. I'd love to practice more, but I'm really committed to just seeing what I can do in only five minutes. Um, it's kind of remarkable. I mean, you could conceivably practice for 10 hours in one day and uh, make that improvement from 5.6 up to um, 20 or even faster. I know some people, even just an hour or two here. Um, five minutes a day is definitely not the most efficient way of doing this, but it is interesting to prove that you can actually do and learn something in just five minutes a day. Um, plateaus and then jumps and plateaus and then jumps, but um, here we are. So boop, back down again. And you can see that that's kind of the trend. You go, oh yeah, up and then drop back down and up and then drop back down. But the whole, the whole process here is improvement. I'm sure by tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be back up in the 18s, 17s, 18s, and hopefully by the end of the week, um, I will pass this lesson and get 20 words in five minutes. So uh, keep typing, keep working on whatever you're doing, um, keep improving at everything you do, and I will see you next time.